show for this capacity crowd. Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video, thank you so much for joining in. Today's video is a tutorial on playing UFC Undisputed 3 or the modded UFC Undisputed Forever on RPCS3. This video is going to cover every aspect of running the game on RPCS3 emulator so make sure to watch it until at least the settings part end. So let's start with overview and compatibility. Firstly there are still a lot of people who are not aware that RPCS3 always mentions the game's compatibility as well as each individual individual serial number for that game's compatibility. So you must always make sure that you have the version mentioned or tested to be most functional or playable. Then look for a settings video or a tutorial just like this one in order to have fully same or almost same results. So the serial most playable for UFC Undisputed 3 is BLUS3738 but at this time UFC Undisputed 3 is mentioned in game which means there are either bugs, glitches, performance issues and of course crashes. Now let's talk about the specifications required to run this game. This is a heavily demanding in-game title, so you're going to need at least a 6 core or higher CPU. My personal advice would be to start from an Intel i5-8600 if you're using Intel processors or a Ryzen 5 2600 on the AMD side. Then a GTX 1063 GB would be a bare minimum, although I have played it on the 750 Ti before, but from that experience I can tell you it doesn't handle 60 FPS. So 3 GB of VRAM would be my recommendation for this game. The RAM I would recommend would be at least 8 GB but I would heavily recommend 16 GB for best performance. Now moving on to settings. On CPU tab, select LLVM as recompilers for both SPU and PPU decoder, set exploit accuracy to approximate, enable SPU loop detection and set SPU block size on Mega. On GPU tab, make sure Vulkan is your renderer, set your preferred resolution that fits accordingly with your GPU limit and your screen resolution. For me, 2K is enough. Set frame rate to 60 shader quality on high and ZC ULL accuracy on relaxed. Enable right color buffers, we sync and also FSR to 40% as this gives you a sharpened image. Lastly, select async on shader mode. On audio tab, make sure to enable buffering by 100 millisecond and select audio output to X audio 2. On advanced tab, enable RSX accurate reservation access, PPU SSPU precompilation and silence all logs and the rest of the settings are unchanged. Now that the initials and settings part has been covered, there's only one final thing you must keep in mind. RPCS3 and especially the in-game titles are incredibly difficult to fully emulate as they're not playable by 100% as long as their compatibility switches to playable which will be done by further updates. A lot of people fail to understand how complicated configurations can be for all systems as they come up with comments saying I have an RTX 4090, an i9 14 gen, a Ryzen 7 7600X or whatever. Just simply play with the settings a bit, try to increase things like Wii blank frequency, maybe the RSX FIFO accuracy as they generally fix crash issues for some people. Just mess around with settings until you find what's best for your system. Anyways, this is it for me. Please enjoy the gameplay. If you need help with anything at all, let me know in the comments down below or in my discord and I'll see you next time. John Jones making his way to the octagon and he has this crowd fired up. John Jones is a supremely gifted athlete. He is explosive with his takedowns and his strikes, and he can be very creative in his attacks. Spinning elbows, heel kicks, he is a human highlight reel. John Jones, ready to throw down and put on a big show for this capacity crowd. Set to enter the octagon and listen to the crowd. They love this guy. Mirko Krokop is one of the most successful strikers turned mixed martial artists of all time. He's got a ton of experience and quite possibly the most impressive highlight reel of knockouts you will ever see. Mirko Krokop fired up and ready to give the crowd what they came to see. 
Tail of the Tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the current UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bone Jones! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a striker. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 235 pounds, fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia. This man is a former Grand Prix champion of pride. Mirko Roka! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. And we're ready to get things started. John Jones, Mirko Kroka. And we are Mirko underway. Kroc Mirko Krokop's kicks are lethal. He has some of the best high kick knockouts on his resume in all of mixed martial arts. Oh, he got hurt. He's down. Oh. Well, he's back to his feet. Both guys staying in tight. Boom! Swing and a miss. Superman punch. Oh! It looks like Crow Cop is cut as well, Joe. Got double underhooks here. Two minutes remains in round number one. He's got the takedown over under control. He tried to escape, controlling the top position. Big right hand. He ate that one. Vicious ground and pound from the top here. Haymakers. Under 90 seconds remains in the first of three five-minute rounds. He caught the kick. Outstanding takedowns. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Nice knee. Nice counter right hand. Oh my! Nice right hand. Oh, big right. He dives on him into the guard with that punch. And that's the end of round one. And the bell came just moments after that huge shot landed wow awesome round and that was close to a knockout as you'll ever see after you angle off fire on you own him when you spin him you understand when you angle off come back right away you got it angle off. let's take a look at the replay mike this was a beautiful counter unbelievable timing here and a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. And this was right on target. That is nasty, scary power in that shot. So you've got to stay on balance. You've got to keep moving forward while you're punching. And you can't stop it. The beautiful Ariani. Here you go, guys. 
Are you ready? Are you ready? Go. Here we go, round two. Let's go, come on. He gets a takedown. Big elbows and punches from the top. Pushing his opponent away. And another. Oh, he rocked him bad here, Mike. Oh, head kick. Shin to the chin. Good night. Mirko Kroka with the victory. Let's take a look at the timing again. I mean, he just sets that up perfect. And here we see it again. Good night. Great angle here. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mirko Kroka! Mirko Kroka, the winner!